Hello, welcome to another episode of Wireless Discovery. Today we're going to be talking about playing back Spotify audio on a Bluetooth speaker over an Echo Dot and controlling it with a cell phone or a computer or any other device that plays Spotify. Yeah. So let's say you are hosting a party and you want to play some music over Spotify. You want to fill the room with some great sounding audio. So obviously you could just play it back on your phone, hook it up to a Bluetooth speaker, and jam out. But that has some drawbacks. What if you leave the room? What if you get more than 30 feet away and that Bluetooth signal cuts out and your audio sounds like crap or it just stops entirely? That's a bummer. So today we're going to talk about how to use a secondary playback device for Spotify and the service Spotify Connect to play back your music with a consistent signal to a Bluetooth speaker, it's going to sound great and you're going to be able to control it from anywhere. Enter the Echo Dot. I'm in your personal space. So under the hood, Spotify uses server-based data to keep track of all the devices that your account is logged into. This is actually a security precaution to prevent multiple users from sharing the same account, but it has the added benefit of allowing you to keep track of multiple devices logged into your account and control any one of them from any other one. Now obviously the Echo Dot isn't a great way to play back music unless you pair it with a Bluetooth speaker, but if you do, it's pretty awesome. Okay, so just for this demonstration I've got my iPhone here with Spotify installed ready for playback. I have my Echo Dot which is connected to my Spotify account as well, and a Bose Mini SoundLink 2 Bluetooth speaker, because it sounds great. And so what we're going to start off with is, well, the phone. So by default, down at the bottom here, it says devices available. But as long as it says that, if I hit play, I get music out of the phone, as you'd expect. But when we're done, it's going to come out of that Bose. So let's jump into the Amazon Alexa app and go over to settings. And we're going to scroll past all of our devices first. And we're going to go to music and media. And we want to go to Spotify under Music Services and log into your Spotify account and make sure that your Echo is enabled for Spotify playback. Once you sign in, it'll show up with your account listed under Spotify, and you should be good to go. Now, since we have that, Now that we have it all set up, we can tell Alexa, play. Alexa, pause. See, that's why we need a Bluetooth speaker. It sounds absolutely horrible. So, we're going to go back into the Amazon Alexa app. Go back one menu. I'm not quite sure how to help you with that. Don't worry, I've got it covered. Now we're going to pick our dot from our devices menu and go to Bluetooth and pair a new device. And since my Bose is already in sync mode, it's showing up. So I'll just tap it here. Connected to Echo DOT 9 VF. Now that you're paired, next time just say, connect my speaker. So, there you go. Now we have audio playback through the Bose. And let's hear what it sounds like. Alexa, play. Alexa, pause. Great. So that sounds much better. And we've got basic playback commands through voice that we can issue at any time. We can turn the volume up and down with our voice. Alexa, volume down. 
And now, the magic of Spotify Connect, we're going to go back into the Spotify app here, and down at the bottom, it's going to say Devices Available. And if you tap that, you're going to get a list of all of the devices that are signed into your Spotify account. In my case, this is a couple dots, uh, a Fire Stick, my Mac, a few other things. But for now, what we're going to do is select the office dot. And now down at the bottom, in green, it says office dot to tell us where we're playing back from. So if I issue a command from the phone, it plays over the Bose Bluetooth speaker. Now what, what's happening right now is all the commands that I enter on the phone are being sent over Wi-Fi to Spotify servers. Spotify server knows that the Echo Dot is my selected playback device, so it sends a signal over Wi-Fi to the Echo Dot, which then starts streaming music over Bluetooth to the Bose. And that's it. We're good to go. We can play and pause, fast forward, rewind, all from our phone or Alexa Play with our voice. And it's that simple. Alexa, volume up. Alexa, next. Alexa, stop. And there you go. Everything controlled from the phone, playing back over the Echo Dot, beamed through Bluetooth to the Bose speaker. Mission accomplished. I think being able to control Spotify playback with your voice is pretty awesome. It's very handy, uh, especially when your hands are full. It's also great that the paired device that's controlling the output can adjust the volume level. So on the desktop app, if you adjust the audio controls in Spotify, it will turn the volume up and down on the Echo Dot. And the same is true for uh, the iPhone or the Android phone. As long as you pull up the control menu at the bottom and turn the volume up and down while Spotify is playing, it will adjust the playback on the controlled device. Battery died while we were recording. So if you found this video interesting or useful, please give it a like. And if you want to see more, think about subscribing. Uh, I would love to see more people on this channel. Uh, it's just starting out this year, but I would love to see it grow. And I would love to help you guys with your wireless journeys. So until next time, this is Josh with Wireless Discovery. Have a great one. These little puppies are cheap and damn useful.